Ron Nevsikov, a cell-rated analyst from Guggenheim, is now joining us. In particular, I'm interested in Ron's take on the gross auto margin multiplied by tax advantages that we found. That's 18.2 percentage points above what analysts had predicted. Margin would be under strain when prices were lowered. I'm curious as to your thoughts on this. Do I see a trough here? Absolutely. Yeah. In terms of stock arriving to the press, that is by far the most often asked question we've received. We had reached 17.9. The credit line for gross margins may be described as a little better than better than feared. However, this is still about 1,300 BEPs lower than Tesla's gross margins were in the same period last year, so it's clear that price reductions are having effect. Since Tesla shares began falling after the company reported its second quarter numbers last month, there has been a lot of uncertainty. It has been claimed that Tesla's price reduction earlier this year have significantly eroded the automaker's profit margin, which could have serious consequences in the long run. Nonetheless, we think Tesla's stock price is still among the most valuable on the market right now despite these assertions. Even financial market expert Tom Nash has predicted the future value of Tesla shares, and the numerical results are fascinating. As a result, current investors in Tesla stock can anticipate receiving enormous returns on their money very soon. Here we shift gears and focused a bit more narrowly on earnings season, which is really picking up steam this week. A lot of money is riding on the performance of the major technology stocks. The Nasdaq fell last week after Tesla and Netflix announced weaker than expected second quarter earnings. UBS downgraded the stock this morning, and the recent drop in Tesla shares has overshadowed the company's higher revenue and profit. What a fascinating place. In pre-market trading, investors are selling such stocks off. Mark Newton has not yet left. Mark, head of technical strategy at Fundstrat Global Advisors, we wanted to do a little digging into some specific names. Also included is Tesla. People have an enormous amount of curiosity about it. What does the setup look like now that we've seen what happened last week? Tesla, it seems, has had quite the meteoric rise. Since about the middle of April, it has increased by well over 100%. As a result, it's unusual for stock prices to rise steadily without ever reversing course. So it's overbought in the short to medium term. There were periods where the stock price rose, but recently there has been no more impetus. That raises a technical issue. That could signal a consolidation in the stock price. So the total reached $300. And there has been some reinforcement and expansion in recent times. Over the past week, they've gone downhill. There are now only 256 left. That means it's coming closer to a technical area where investors might want to consider buying dips. But you should know that the stock is quite volatile in comparison to other equities. Yes, but last year things started going downhill. Elon Musk made a stock sale in October and November of last year. Shares were halved in price. It dropped to around 100. So, here we are at 256. That being said, it was still a fantastic rally. For the period between now and 2025, I would say that the outlook has grown even more optimistic. The stock's downgrading was based on short-term worries only. As a result, I have a negative near-term outlook on the stock. However, on a more long-term basis, I still find it to be pretty appealing. Tesla's stock price has risen dramatically in recent weeks, coming close to $300 on the back of a string of positive announcements from the automaker. Many industry experts have predicted that Tesla will continue its success in 2023 and beyond, and this is becoming increasingly clear despite the recent profit drop. Tom Nash, a popular YouTuber and stock market guru, has been paying close attention to the market for some time. The YouTuber predicted that Tesla stock would rise in value over the following two years, based on Gary Blake's forecast for the next 12 months. The YouTuber predicted then that Tesla shares will be valued close to 1,000, 
$300 in five years. He appears to have stepped it up a notch also, as he has now said that Tesla might be worth much more. He claims that the only reason Tesla is worth so much is because of its rapidly expanding income, which he anticipates will soon set new records. So what does he think the price of Tesla shares will be now? I say we find out. Before we get started though, I'd want to ask if you enjoy this sort of thing by clicking the like button below. If you want to know what's going on with Tesla, subscribe and enable post notifications. Tom Nash predicted that Tesla shares might reach $1,420.11 in value within the next five years. He has recently placed a high value on Tesla because of its rapidly expanding revenue. According to Tesla Bulls, well-known Tesla analyst Gary Black projected in January that Tesla would reach $370 in the next 6 to 12 months. Tesla will need a number of drivers and catalysts to hit its price goal by the end of the time frame. Shares of Tesla have dropped by more than 9% after the business revealed mixed results for the second quarter. And this is just the beginning of a nightmare for Tesla, according to some Wall Street analysts, or so they believe. David Trainer, in point of fact, according to the CEO of New Constructs, Tesla is only worth $26 a share after reporting weaker-than-expected results due to falling margins and weaker-than-expected demand. He previously believed that Tesla's stock was extremely expensive, but the company's strong performance in the second quarter changed his mind. You might also be interested in the points he made in support of his allegation. First, he expressed concern about the growing demand for Tesla EVs in the face of intensifying rivalry and persistent price increases. For the past five quarters, he claims, Tesla has produced more vehicles than it has sold, and hundreds more EV models are scheduled to join the market in the coming years. The whole self-driving business and the EV charging network are valued at a premium by Tesla bulls, Tesla said, but these are just divisions that aren't relevant to the bottom line at the moment. Given that vehicle sales account for roughly 86% of Tesla's total income. However, he still has more to say. According to David Trainer, Tesla's current valuation is absurd because of the company's declining profits due to price cuts and the increasing competition from established automakers. Even though Tesla is making money, he says, it's not nearly enough to warrant the company's present valuation. Although it may come as a surprise, there are still a few other analysts that think like such about Tesla. For one, Tesla stock has been on the rise this year despite the dramatic change in market attitude, with many investors now pricing in a soft landing scenario following a tough year of Federal Reserve rate hikes. Nonetheless, the fact that Tesla's stock fundamentals are unrelated to reality remains unchanged by the recent shift in market sentiment. Longtime Tesla bull and Wedbush analyst Dan Ives recently increased his price objective for Tesla from $300 to $350 on the back of renewed optimism regarding Elon Musk's golden vision for the firm, also me, including collecting money from customers. Nonetheless, Musk saw an $18 billion loss in his net worth as Tesla shares declined. With an estimated $236 billion in net earnings, the CEO is still the wealthiest person on the planet. Tech titans like Netflix and Tesla, whose stocks have recently dropped, will likely recover, according to CNBC's Jim Cramer. Kramer pointed out that whenever these equities drop, it seems entirely plausible that they would drop, and this scares investors away. These businesses face short-term setbacks, but in the long run, they succeed due of their excellent management and groundbreaking offerings. He went on to mention that Tesla's dominion might grow to encompass more than just EVs, mentioning that it could also include autonomous vehicles, batteries, design, pickup trucks, and more. In addition, the firm stands to gain significantly from licensing its autonomous vehicle technology to rival automakers. Now, both Tesla and Netflix have had similar stories, as both companies experienced difficult earnings in the most recent quarter. Despite the company's optimistic membership growth, Netflix's outlook was very lukewarm.